Hey, what's up, guys? Retro Cams here back again with another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my Fortnite settings. Now, I got a comment on this saying I shouldn't go ahead and make this video, so why not? I got nothing to lose. I think you guys deserve to see. But, um, anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. <laughs> Okay guys, first things first, let's go ahead and hop in straight into the setting, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys is my movement. Now you can see here, you can just copy it, move forward is S, move left A, move backwards Z, move right D. Now a lot of people say I have weird moving controls, but I mean, that's the risk you take whenever you like um, want to get full movement, that's what I call it, because um, I move backwards with um, left and right in an awkward position kind of like this whenever I go whenever I go backwards I go like this like this I don't I don't just go normal backwards like that I just go like this it's better in my opinion but anyway that's besides the point okay now in combat ma same mouse button target right mouse button reloads G uses E harvesting tool middle mouse button uh, weapon slots uh, this is mouse button 2 um, I got two buttons on my mouse. Um, that's for people that have, you know, the extra buttons on their mouse. If not, then I guess just figure something out that you can put there. Um, for my ability, I got my wall is C. My floor is my mouse button. It's my front mouse button. And my stairs is F. Roof is R. Trap is Y. Place building is left mouse button repair h i don't have rotate building on because i don't use that um change building material i have that for right mouse button too left control uh scroll i i do use scroll reset um but you use left shift for your edit um crouch while editing left control select building edit left mouse button reset building edit mouse wheel up and mouse wheel up okay now None of these really matter. These are, I guess, these are all like just your preference. But the settings I use is okay. First thing I do is I go ahead and my X and Y axis. I go ahead and put them real low, like on seven, like right here, and then just turn my DPI on my mouse up all the way. Okay. Now you can just copy all these right here, but if you don't have the DPI, you want to turn this to about seventy-two. And it's going to give you the same effect. But yeah, I mean, that's just basically how I do mine. Okay, guys, those are my settings. I hope you enjoyed. But I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about something I'm going to start doing. It's called, um, it's basically just a tutorial that I'm going to do in every video. Every video I do, I'm going to show you in, like a tutorial on something I've learned or something that you guys have asked me to teach. And this is going to be one for at the end of every video. Um, with that being said, um, the one for today is I think it's a new high ground retake that I found. I don't know if someone has already done this or not, but basically you just go like this, and you gotta you just gotta um, use my you know, my binds, you know. But you go like this, and then come through here. Just edit that. Uh, place the floor right here, and whenever you do that, you can jump, and then just kind of throw walls up right there. And now uh, I'm gonna show you this in uh, slow motion. You go, bang, edit that, like that, and then jump, and then just kind of like place walls all through here and uh, right up here, and place the floor, and then the ramp above your head so you can't get shot. And it doesn't really, it kind of blocks off almost every attack from every angle, almost. But yeah, um, that's the one I do. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.